Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm uh, coming at you with no brows on because I am doing an updated brow routine. I just wanna share this with you guys. I've been getting so many compliments. I appreciate it on my brows lately. Brows have always been something I've struggled with. I over plucked when I was younger. I'm very fair complected. I have really light hair and therefore my brows are very sparse, thin, light and they basically don't show up. I actually have my brows microbladed and they're still this light. It also um, kind of gets covered with foundation because I do my foundation first. So when I don't have any makeup on, they do look more microbladed or they're on there. But right now, this is what they would look like if I literally didn't touch them. Obviously, I feel like I need some structure to my face. So my brows have definitely evolved. I know we've seen Instagram, um, we've kind of gone from like the block brows, the pomade brows, to the more fluffy brows that you're seeing lately. One thing to keep in mind is a lot of the brows that you're seeing on Instagram, the models already have extremely fluffy dark brows. It's really hard to get that effect if you don't have much brow hair to work with. I'm going to show you the technique that I use. I feel like I'm in between. I kind of have a structured um, bottom to my brow, but I like to do the fluffy hair-like strokes and really kind of fluff them up. And for this brow routine, it's so much easier than in the past when I used the pomade and I had to like do the really block brows. And it's also only two products and you can dupe these products for really affordable products as well. I kind of switch in between. I can give you some options, but the two that I've been going to recently, it's literally two products. So I'm going to show you how I transform, you know, my naked mole rat situation here to actually looking like I have brows that, you know, frame my face. And I appreciate all of the love you guys have been giving me on my brows lately. So I thought I would just show you how I do them. It's really easy if you're struggling. If you feel like me and you have really sparse brows, you've over plucked, your brow hairs are super light. Uh, I can give you some tips to help you out and hopefully give you a more fluffy Instagram brow. So that's what we're going to do today. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Somebody just came to my door, so I have to go answer that, and we'll start in a second. So I went ahead and zoomed you in, and the first step that I find helps me the most is a brow gel. Now, you can use a soap brow, like actual soap with a spoolie. You can also use a clear brow gel. I have been really liking using a colored brow gel. It gives me kind of a base to start. Kind of gives me some filling in of areas that maybe my brows are just too light and I need some deepening. So really this is only going to work where you actually have brow hairs. I don't have any brow hairs in the uh, insides of my brows. They are microbladed and when I put foundation on it covers them. So that's where I really have to do a lot of like penciling in and kind of underneath as well. But I use this as a base to kind of give me a, what's the word, a platform or a, um, outline of where I'm going to be kind of penciling in afterwards. So my favorite as of lately is the Glossier Boy Brow. I have the shade brown. I do like to go a little bit deeper. Obviously my hair is platinum white, so I don't want my brows to be that color. So I like to go a little bit deeper. You could also use blonde, whatever, but I really like this. There's a lot that I like. Uh, I can link some down below. There's even drugstore ones like L'Oreal has a great one and I have some on the way that I'm trying from like e.l.f. So I'll update you guys, but as of lately I really have been reaching for the Glossier Boy Brow the most. So I like to really push this up and make my brows as tall as possible or as fluffy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of demo it. So you can see already just doing that has given me so much lift right here. Now, again, if you don't have brow hairs, you're going to have to draw on all of these strokes. So I like to maximize the brow hairs that I do have. So I kind of brush them up, and then when I get towards the outside, you can go down with your brow. So it should look something like this. Obviously, we're just beginning, so we'll fill in all the sparseness on the inside and the outer edge. So I used to trim my brows, and I don't do that anymore because I really want the fluffy look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other side. So now that I have some lift and I have a little bit of fluff on this inner corner, I'm going to use a brow pencil to fill in. Now you can use a pomade. I find it a little more difficult, a little more time consuming. You have to use a pomade and a brush and you have to be a little bit more careful and then you have to switch from a spoolie to a pomade. It's just kind of 
more uh, work and I'm all about that lazy life. So I have been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow. It's just my favorite. It has a spoolie on one side and it has a tiny little brow pencil on the other. This is my favorite brow pencil, but there's dupes all in the drugstore, so you can definitely find something similar. So I'm in the shade 3.5, and what I usually do is underline my brow because I want definition down here. My brows are just too sparse to just go with the fluff. I like to have definition underneath, fill in up here wherever I need to, and then I just draw hair-like strokes on the inner corner. Now you can use a little pen, Lime Crime has one, Glossier has one, Urban Decay, MAC, Stila, there's all different brands, but I find that my hand shakes a little bit so I have better control with this. The strokes are not as tiny as they would be if I used like a marker pen, but I just find it difficult to use and I feel like if I mess up it really kind of goes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, so I'm gonna stop talking and just show you how I kind of underline them. So this is how I start. I line and then if I need to clean it up with concealer, I can definitely do that. And then I usually just go ahead and start filling in where it's really sparse first, which is lower for me. So uh, I don't wanna bring my microblading down too far. I'd rather have to fill in than have them be too you know, fluffy or too low on the face. So I just kind of fill in and then use the spoolie to blend anything, but I'm really kind of more sparse down on the bottom of my brows. And you can see me using that brow gel gives me kind of that fluffiness on the top. I don't have to draw it all in. So that's kind of a perk if you do have any brow hairs at all. Just let them grow out and use a brow gel to really push them up and you'll get that kind of fluffy look. So I also do the tail of my brow because it's so fine and light. So now that I filled in the base of where I lined, I'm gonna use the same pencil. Again, you can use something like this. I like the Lime Crime. This is the Bushy Brow Pen, and it really is just like a little felt tip that you, or a little brush tip. It's kind of like an eyeliner that you could use to do hair-like strokes. Sometimes I use this to beef up kind of the fluffiness, but I just have more control with the benefit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do hair-like strokes on the inner portion of my brow where I literally have no hair. So I, I have to fill it in. So it should just be something like this. So you can see that I have kind of my own brow hairs here and then I've kind of just matched the inner corner and I like to make some of them taller than others so it mimics real hair, if that makes sense, even though there is no hair there. So after you've done that, I do like to go back in with the boy brow because I really just want to shape and fluff anything. I feel like it almost filled in so much that I've lost a little bit of that fluffiness. So I'm gonna go back in with my brow gel and manipulate the hairs very lightly and I just wanna kinda push them up. So I don't know if you can tell, this brow is just more fluffy. It's not a huge difference, but it also sets everything in place for the day. And it just gives me that super fluffy look. And this is literally how I do my brows. I would leave it like this if you really want a super intense, like I said, kind of Instagram bushy brow, I would recommend a product like this, which I talked about, I can link down below from Lime Crime. And you can actually draw those strokes even higher to make your brows look super intensely bushy. But most days I just leave it as is. You can always use a spoolie. I highly recommend having a spoolie on hand just to make sure that you have everything blended and in the right place. Anytime you get too much product in one area, don't worry about it, just use your spoolie and kind of go through it. And that's literally how I do my brows. It's so much easier than in the past. I used to have to like 
just match them up completely. Of course, my brows are not going to be perfect. Nobody's are, but I feel like it frames my face. It just looks a little bit more natural, and as I'm getting older, natural is more appealing to me. So, yeah, this is it. It's, like, super easy. All right, guys, so as fast as that was, that is literally my brow routine, whether it's every day or full glam. I just feel like it's quick, easy. It's not as difficult as the block brows, and it looks more natural. So that's what I've been using as of recently. I do switch up my brow gels, but I always use the Benefit Pencil. I just have the best control with it, and I like the way that it applies, and it stays all day. So let me know down below. How do you do your brows? Have your brows <laughs> evolved? I've gone from the sperm brow days, like, where it's, like, literally two little sperms on my face to the block brows to the fluffy brows and I feel like you know trends are changing but I don't know this might be my favorite it's just the easiest and I feel like if I mess it up a little bit I can just kind of fluff it up use a brow gel and be out the door so let me know down below what you guys think I hope this helped you out if you have sparse brows like me uh, because I know online I see a lot of people with beautiful brows and I see them doing their brows and I'm like wait a minute your natural brows were fluffy already so hopefully this gave you some ideas if you struggle like I do thank you guys again so much for watching if you're new I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video